built fashion. Uh, uh, I'm scoring the bar, you passing. Got a brain to cash in. No, I got a brain to cash in. Doing little fashion. Yeah. 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 What good? Y'all know what time it is, man. It's Fat Podcast. We back again. This time, we're going to do it like that. We know we've been good. We'll hold be on, good. hold on, hold on. The special invited <laughs> guest today is G6, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Got my nigga in the building. The, the leader of the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? The hit podcast. He hit me like, she come on with some she church shit. I'm like, all right, man. I come on. He like, man, she man, come back that week. Shit, fuck, I want you to be part of it. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, hey, yeah, I love to talk shit. What's so that? today, special guest, tell them, tell them, um, uh -huh. man. Yo, a little special guest. I, I, I just walked in. Like, <laughs> I, I came in one day, started doing drugs, and like, niggas was like, all right, you can get a guy. That's the future. You know I mean? Y'all know how we rock it, man. <laughs> Fat podcast, we back again. You know what I mean? G says I am here. Yo, we got a couple questions for you, sis. Front. <laughs> you just got down front on the music. Okay, let's kick shit. What's your next project? You, I, I know this on your Instagram. You, every boy, your content for is music. You keep new shit, nigga. I'm talking. Yeah, I'd be one of the hardest. Bro, I'm talking about working, nigga. You be working too. Yeah. I can't yeah. even learn a song. Yeah. It's so, so much. What is your strategy with doing that? Like, what you trying to do that? Cause you know most artists will have an EP. Yeah. Mid tape pill. It. You just. You know My strategy. What's your strategy? When it comes to the music. My strategy is treat it like a block, keep work out non stop. Yeah. You right. see what I'm saying? Mm. Like, even if I ain't eating on the grand sky, I can eat with multiple. I treat that shit like multiple uh, sources of income. You okay. see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and a lot of this shit is just commercials for, for people to come fuck with me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I can take a song, it only got to be a song I really care about. Yeah. I just know these people like that, that's a commercial for them. Drop it, blow it, make them come in. You know what I mean? So a lot of that shit like that when it just comes to me just kicking out the music part of it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. so just the songs. Yeah. So when I put together some project though, that's different. You see what I'm saying? So when I'm just you see me keep kicking out songs every week? Yeah. Cause I got a thousand. So it really right. You know what I mean? So I just keep shit in motion. I don't like to go like try it. I, Cause I had a bug on at one point and slow down for it. Cause I wait. Mm. Instead mm. of that now, why they nigga keep going? Mm, the right. What we stopping for? That you got trillion dollar budget to stop. That ties into. You know what I'm saying? That ties into a question I have for you. Like, what, what, what really makes you like go in so hard as far as like making all those songs and like just having them stockpiled like that, opposed to like sitting down and then like, yo, I want to do this project this quarter or whatever yeah. like that. You pretty much just got a whole catalog of songs that you're picking at uh, just making projects in the head. So, like, it, it, it two things. I look at it like this. Why would I do business with me? Mm. Like that <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Interviewing yourself. Like yeah, like, like a nigga, I got a nigga in the hood, he come to me talking about come, he wanna get on some music, he wanna come get on a podcast, he wanna do this, he wanna do that. Every time I pull up on him, he ain't got next show. It's like fancy got that. You, you wanna get a situation. Like I was just telling my pop the other day, what a new shit got going on. You wanna get a situation got down. Let's say the first song work. Yeah. You ain't got, when them folk come to check you out, you ain't got that enough for them folk to eat off, you do. You gotta have that shit loaded, stock and pile of shit. Ready to go. And when they come, the tits span is so short, they come, they gonna eat on that and like, what the next one? Yeah, niggas ain't got this week. They're like vampires, you know what I mean? Yeah. You ain't got six months no more. So you just take a song six weeks to go number one. So now, 30 days. Yeah. Did that come from like an inner drive or did that come from some advice from somebody? Did somebody tell you like, yo, you gotta be on it like this? Or did that just come from like... It came from experience of losing. Because mm. I lost by not having it. Like, when I was in the room, if I would have had this, I'd have been out of it. Yeah. Yeah. I worked myself to the room. I just didn't have what it take to get in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, it's like a nigga get to the final, but you don't win. Yeah. I got that. Yeah. Okay, I proved I can get that. <laughs> you see yeah. what I'm saying? Hello. And see how y'all feel since we talking about y'all, yeah. you know, y'all side of town. Mark Teixeira, right? You ever heard him? X Brave. Mm -hmm. Got a $200 million development that he building right across the street from Bankhead Train Station. The renderings came out. When no black people on the renderings, right? Oh, Internet going crazy, LinkedIn going crazy, people talking shit. Ah, da, da, da. 
go back on his site, he they done changed the render and got some black people on there. Yeah. So seeing that come into your community, mm -hmm. was is that something you would support or how you feel about something like that? Somebody just dropping two hundred million dollars right here. You know what's crazy? And then, and then trying to and trying to change you, Basically, the culture of you know what crazy? We were just talking about that and Spike just talking about that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Just talking just talking about that shit. And I, I think we both had good ass perceptions on that shit though. Even Go though, ahead. even though it's not made for us, we're there already. Right. So you can look at it like it's not here for us. They're not letting us in. This is that or other. Or you can make noise about it, like some people did, and make them make some moves about what's going on in that situation. You know what I mean? So I feel like the money coming to the hood, there's ways you can take advantage of it. Yeah, they trying to leave you out. You know what I mean? But you just gotta, you gotta, you gotta be a business person about that shit, man. Like you gotta look at, you gotta look at the ultimate come up behind it. Like that's more money coming to the hood, for real. It's changing what you're looking at. Now I mean, your perception and your mind state changes when you're looking at different shit. When you're not looking at the band doing no more, and you're looking at some shit that's in your space, even if you can't afford that shit just yet, that's a benchmark. That's just like what we was talking about in the last segment about having goals and staying motivated. I don't know. Just to me, if they build some pretty shit in my hood, I would aspire to get there. Mm. I never I never cared about nobody telling me what I couldn't have and what I couldn't get. I'm going to go get it. Like, fuck what you talking about. How you feel? So like got a look on their face. Like, you want to say something, you thinking about it. Yeah, like, my thing is, with, like, we were talking about at the house. Like, but we did, we broke it down in sports, though, right? Because, you know, he was cracking on, like, how <laughs> a lot, lot of folks, they real fans, this and that, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I had broke it down to, I was like, shit, a lot of times, bro, we player fans. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And he said, Yeah, I'm cheating. I said, Look, this is how I look at it. Mine may be different. When you cheer for the team, you cheer for the crowd. What you mean? Oh, I, I, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah. The finesse mm. Yeah. So, what if he go, I'm fucking with Yeah. And then we were talking about like how when the Super Bowl bring money and come this and that and that. All that shit, right? I was like, Shit, that cool. I'm with all that. But if we cut out the pie, it don't matter, right? It don't mean yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 pocket, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? We well, ain't getting none of the money that he's bringing. Absolutely. You know, then he had a point about it. It was just, you know what I mean? It was real shit. So that's how I feel like. I, feel I don't like, give a fuck what they do if we ain't. We ain't that in. Really coming on. I feel like. I ain't with it. I feel like they should at least let the people. They don't, I, they don't teach us this stuff, but it ain't their responsibility to teach us. Exactly. But how do we know to know this stuff if we going to school and they ain't teaching us yeah, to learn? Exactly. exactly. You do know what I'm saying? They yeah. teaching us to learn algebra, and if you don't, you you failing. Yeah. You can kill back. They got nothing to do with your family. Real, real world, you know. All right. Hold on, hold on. Your family on your ass. All this shit, but the shit that really matter, I never learned in school. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like if somebody, if I was gonna drop two million, two hundred million in somebody hood. I would at least have something where I could let the people know, hey, I'm about to do this. You know you could do this to make money off of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. but you gotta be from the hood and really care about it to have the type of mindset. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. If it were me, the first thing I would be doing is getting all the, I don't wanna say dope boys, all the influences of the community. The strong influence, especially the black men. Right. You know what I'm saying? Who's in control for us the money in. Mm -hmm. And be like, hey, I'm about to do this. I think y'all should open up this store right here. It's be good. Cause either way it go, when he dropped the, the money, he expected people to spend money so he can make the money exactly. back. So I would and teach people how to spend the money where I can make my money and y'all can make y'all money. And it's a circle. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They not they ain't doing it. They just drop shit and like shit, fuck y'all. Yeah. I don't appreciate that, cause niggas, you wouldn't even be standing alone if it wasn't for the hood niggas. The bottle popping, the strip club, the, the music. I'm gonna give you one example. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give you That's one example. Culture vulture shit. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna give you one example of what you're asking for. When they built that, uh, when they built the Falcon Stadium, right? Mm -hmm. They bought that from some church. It was a church. So did. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So look, the the bargaining agreement with that was 
they had to employ, you know what I mean, the people that lived in that area to build that stadium. Yeah. So what they did, knowing that these people, none of these people didn't have those basic skills of construction, yeah. they built a little school over there, and you had to go sure take the class, and you, yeah. they showed you had to do the little hand tool shit, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But you had to pass the drug test every week. Yeah. Every week, they swab in your mouth, you piss, you know what I mean? You had to take a drug yeah. test. And I went through that program. What's up? I went through that program, worked on the fucking Atlanta Falcon Stadium, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, fed um, family. Fed yeah. my family, yeah. got out, joined the union, became my iron worker uh, and shit, made, made more money. Yeah. My you see what I'm saying? Right, yeah. So that's what I was saying earlier about understanding that your circumstances don't got to be, like, yeah. you can make it a goal-oriented thing. I got that opportunity just because I lived in that community. I'm not from Atlanta. You see what I'm saying? But sure. because... Like, they had to let the people from the community be a part of that. I found out about the program yeah, and involved myself in it. I want to do this yeah. shit all the time. Now, they do it in certain it developments. Out. That's the difference. Yeah, in certain developments. Right, now, but not saying, out. But what he's saying, yo. That's something that they should push now. Right. You know what I mean, I'm saying yeah. that on camera because that's something that when people Change see that, they should you push that. Yeah. yeah, I'm speaking from experience yeah. with it, so they should push that type of motivation. I got to send the Keisha, and the beauty of that is... Yeah, it's about it now. Cause we uh, works is right next to Ashley the, Train the Station. Sold it. That's exactly what you yeah. went through? Yeah. Exactly. We, yeah. But the people yeah, who sold we it was the inside club. Like, oh, I'm talking about that house. Right. What the fuck you said? A nigga uh, <laughs> got mad at the girl uh -huh. because he felt like she was being groupified. But she was liking all oh, this oh, shit, oh, this oh, and oh. that, right? Yeah, you got to explain groupified. Groupified. No, no, I'm saying that's what he, it's his feeling, in my mind. Just so you know how, he felt like he was being groupified by the no, chick. She, no, she was his girl was going with somebody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's oh like so she was liking another nigga shit. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like how much of that we take when it comes to that? Like I know I know niggas who pay it. They can, if you got that in them, like a picture. Then I'm like all the way up until yeah. it's just, she got control. I, I think yeah. I think it's based off of can you reach this person? Yeah. Is this person reachable or not? If you liking Tyrese's pictures, Tyrese don't give a fuck about you. But if you liking John John's pictures, you got to buy Because he got 26s and shit. You know what I mean? He can pull up on you. Yeah, like you can pull up on that nigga. Yeah. He can pull up on you and he can get right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I probably feel uh, some type of way for some regular nigga. Uh, it depends. To me, it depends. It depends on who the nigga is. If, if it's somebody she know, yeah. if it's somebody I'm cool with, I went mind. I, I went look at it like that. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. I, I went. If I, if I post y'all to on my ground and you posting pictures of yourself and my girl like your picture, if she like ain't one of them bitches, hey, she know you know what I'm saying. Yeah. She showing your page, Lord. That's that's the trust I have. Exactly. With my yeah, that mind, makes sense. You know what I'm saying, but you got niggas who yeah, niggas I fuck. Why the fuck? Yeah, I got it. yeah. I'm down. I know niggas. All right, now let's say let's say let's say, 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 say she know him. From social media though. Like it's a Facebook friend or it's an yeah, Instagram yeah, friend. Yeah, it's not no nigga she went to school with type thing. It's yeah, like, yeah, I don't know, that's some random ass. That come down the room for black people to me. If you yeah. like you should be able to look at the next person and root for them just off of nothing. You know well, what I'm saying? Rooting, what's rooting though? Like, that's the question, like you say how like, much of that we Right. I'm saying how like, yeah, how far are you going? What's not talking about the niggas y'all know? You can't be not family, family, you can't be that down. I'm not talking about y'all family and friends. Yeah, you can't yeah. put leave an eye emoji. You know what I mean? You can't yeah, it's something else. But I'm just saying, like, if somebody had a good song, yeah, let's yeah. say somebody had a good song, but they don't know him, or she really like his music or whatever. Yeah. How much? How much of the stuff in that world? Oh, oh, oh. Like the pigs. Uh, you know. Going to shows. Yeah, nah, uh, nah, 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 nah. Well, you got, I don't know about going screaming. to shows and shit. You got a little bit of shit screaming. Now, that's going to be the fuck. We talking about just straight yeah, social yeah. media. Somebody I'm talking about everything. Oh, you talking about everything. Point, Become a fan of the person, like, yeah. basically. Yeah. 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 The nigga felt like she was groupified. Oh, so okay. Know, like, like, it's just too far. I went down from the bottom. I went to the top. But then you got some women that love of hip hop. You gotta look at that too. It's yeah. some women that just love I mean, rappers. You see, you know but what that's where I'm mean? getting at. Like, is this shit. just a TV motherfucker? Or are we talking about the nigga from Facebook? I want to respond to But that. what's the difference though? There's a fucking difference. I want to respond to If it's just the music. I want to respond to that. Like, for instance, right? Let's say if our girl loves 2 Chain. Yeah. Right? 
We finna be in the long two chain, bitch. I don't know where you think we go. You know what I mean? Yeah, we finna be up being face to face. We yeah, gonna yeah. see each other. Yeah. The circle we run in, the shit we doing, the shit that's going on. Yeah. So now you be like, he unreachable? I ain't not. We finna be there. Yeah, I mean. That's right, my whole way. We, we, I mean, before we popped up, before we went on our tour, yeah. he, she was liking people, right? Yeah. Right. Chocolate popping at the time. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Boom. Be a mess up working. We get on the tour. I ain't say that, dude. Yeah, you did. <laughs> why, why you say something? Because ain't no lie. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, got the hell. Hit bit, creep out with, uh, I ain't going to say the nigga name who shot with, knocking out, though. Yeah. I ain't going to say his name. Yeah. Hit bit, creep out with him. Him. Now, that's Never no thought bad. we were gonna be around. Never <laughs> thought we were gonna be hanging around with that team, bro. Yeah, that's so. That's so. Yeah. Totally, you took. You went back on what he said. Life, though. No, but, no, he said like. Uh, but, but, but even if the people you unreachable. But what I'm saying, yeah, unreachable. Never thought we were gonna no, be reachable. No, 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 yeah. no. See, what I'm talking about, unreachable is like two chains is not worried about my bitch. Like you not, cuz like we in a different tax bracket. Like you not worried about where we're going. Eventually we're gonna be running. And if you can't, and if you can't you fuck my girl, that wasn't never my girl to begin with. Yeah, like you, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm glad you did. And niggas gonna run, run, boy, as an artist, cause I, I, well, I, I'm glad I, you. I hear so many niggas. But, but, but I will say this. I will say this. I will say this. Again, where they always used to be fans. I hope my girl fuck up. <laughs> no, I mean, like, like yeah, oh. No, no man. Like, nigga, man, you man. gonna fuck up yeah. that block. Yo, fuck up. Like, don't fuck JoJo down the block. Like, fuck two chains if you gonna fuck up. Like, 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 hey, I'm just yeah, keeping yeah. it gangster on some shit. Don't yeah. fuck up with John John. Like, yeah. Nah. The shit's on the street. Like John John. The shit's on the street. You fuck yeah. up with Ricky, Ricky Slayer, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. It's on the street. Yeah, Ricky Slayer. Yeah. Yeah. It's on the street. Now you fuck up with two chains, I'll be like, yo, you know what? He he be on that shit. He yeah, said he yeah, be yeah. fucking niggas hoes. I got caught. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta fuck one of my other homeboy girl. Yeah. Nigga, I know. Who, John John? Or two chains? Got it. Hey man, nigga, nigga got I ain't even a down, but I'm telling you, nigga. Alright, girl, never be around in the mid-year. Nigga on the spree, bro. <laughs> yo, but this dude got high. But you was in the room with these folks. Man, this is my big fan. Man. She been on for wanting to be here for 20 years. Man, I don't see other I don't see other rapper <laughs> niggas who girl is a rapper. My black blessing the down. Yo, man. yeah, I was about you to say that. Man. A street nigga, a street nigga yeah. will fuck I'm a rapper's like, girlfriend man. easier than with a rapper will fuck a street nigga's girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. That's some real shit. Real. Trust me. For real. Yeah. Trust me. I, I would. A lot of niggas like it. Trust, trust me. Yeah. A lot of niggas like it. Athlete, nigga. Yeah. Especially when they get around niggas that oh, yeah, don't know what nigga. that niggas talking about yeah. and they see the difference in mannerisms. Exactly. They be like, oh. They be needing okay, love, okay. bro. Yeah. Now, I had a couple athlete niggas, ladies, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When, when, when niggas oh, yeah. shit get popping and they yeah. might be a nigga play for the Hawks or something. Nigga, yeah, nigga uh, got victimized. Love of the deal, you know yeah. what I mean? But he just lying in hell, and I might just bring it to her. Exactly. Man, but some guns. Exactly. You feel bring me? Shit. And he's like, man, man. She, she finna say the music right, she get to smoke her weed, yeah. talk loud, you know what I mean? Yeah. Real yeah. true, come out of that thing, yeah. no. She just in love with the oral, you know what I'm saying? But she going <laughs> home to a mansion, to a squad. Exactly. She might want some weed. This nigga taking to get some shit. She can't even spell. You know what I mean? You can't even pronounce this shit. That shit cool. So I get But she want to go to Ken on Bankhead. Yeah. Literally, walk the red carpet. And I'm like, bro, we finna go to Crucial. Nigga, toss it first. I don't even think we walk the red carpet, bro. I thought we were like, man, turn around. We ain't win. Fuck that. <laughs> like, I don't think we brought a red carpet that day. That I think I remember hearing about that shit. I said they did. What? Bro, we turned around and went straight to the crucial. I should've took y'all pictures, man. Man, we were so dumb, bro. And naive. We didn't know about the Grammy. We thought it was like the Boring White like, Folks Awards. It is. Like the, the country white folks. Awards. Like, nigga, we were 20. <laughs> you know what I mean? We six months out the hood, bro. Let's imagine you a, a nigga in the hood with nothing. And every day it's the same day. You get exactly. up, walk up on the tree, meet with your niggas till four, five in the morning, go home. Exactly. And then thirty days later, you a tree. You got a tree. A bitch can't tree. help but to. Oh my god! That shit will fuck your head up on another level, bro. Like you gotta be. I don't know how I stay sane throughout that shit. I think it was my real homeboy. Yeah. My homeboy that stayed the same. Mm -hmm. 
kept me like, okay, but this is real life. Mm -hmm. I ain't home, but still a John me when exactly. I was We John It was just regular. It was just normal. About to get into it. Yeah. I needed that part. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know niggas that changed toward my other homeboy. Nigga went from about to fight him to doing everything he say. Do you think do you think it's a thin line to staying too close to the streets? Like your homeboys can keep you around certain shit? Mm. It depends on too many of them around, you know, you got the homeboys that got homeboys and shit no. in town and nothing like that. I think the influence is, the hood just so influential, man. It's hard to leave when you're really from there. Mm. That's why I, it'd be hard to believe these artists that screen in front of the hood and they never in their projects and never on the block that they claim. Because it's, it's, that's the hardest thing to stay away from. This life is new. This rap shit life is new. That life was all I knew. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so your comfort zone. Bro, a nigga be ready to come home. Nigga get to hit the plane, go straight to the hood and ride yeah. dirt bikes. Mm. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Just to it just compelled me. That's why nigga, why Nelson was in the hood? Why you still in the hood? I know that feeling. Like it just something about man, I'm at home. Through. I'm used yeah. to this. Look, it's fighting, somebody won't hurt me. There's a war going on. We beefing with some niggas. None of that was new. The shit that scared me with them folks. The, the smiling and in the hood, somebody smiling fuck with you, it's a 90% chance that really fuck with you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. In the hood, you know we you know what you're facing. Yeah. You know who don't fuck with you. You know who trying to shoot you. Know you feel me? You know, you know them niggas wildin' over there, but I was exactly. like, why them niggas? These niggas over here cool, these the 9 to 5 niggas. These the OG right here, these the, the gang exactly. You can spot everybody you know what it is. where you belong. But exactly. that music shit. <clears throat> Everybody you come can be talking to a top snake and this nigga produce, introduce himself like an A&R. Yeah. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody, they, they, they all come with smiles. That shit is scary. Everybody, man. with that bullshit, everybody come with smiles. Mm. Everybody so, you know what I mean? It's scary, scary, but you like, hold on. Then we weren't ready for that shit. We ain't know nothing about that shit, bro. We were showing up late, arguing, with motherfucker. We, for some, some kind of way, me and my nigga stayed close, but. Back to what you saying as far as our ranking, I feel like we should be one place. And I feel like we started a whole sound. Mm. Like they singing on these beats and yeah. shit. Yeah. But when we yeah, what's your honest ranking? Like, if you feel that, that's your one? Like, yeah. I don't know. Don't be humble about it. I don't yeah, know. That's your question not to be humble about it. I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't. I ain't. I ain't. Look, humble, well, let me speak from the, 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 the fan perspective then. Because you was on, you was it. You gotta give yourself a real ranking because not only for the Atlanta, that I had every city doing. Yeah. A lot of niggas, you know what I mean? A lot of niggas only got the, See? the South wave. Yeah. I had folk got them overseas the talking about. Yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's a that powerful ranking. Yeah, but it was, we would see you speaking from the Yeah, yeah. Me being in it, it was like, now I look back at it. Doing rock star, I feel like we're popping up there, but everything after that, man, we changed the sound of Atlanta. Yeah. When it comes to these club rockers, mm -hmm. niggas was not singing on these beats. Yeah. Niggas yeah. was not making a lane. We didn't have, we didn't sell dope, right? Yeah. When we started, G's and T.I. Then was the shit, so everybody rapping about, I got pounds, I got weed, I got yeah. pills. You dig what I'm saying? And you either had that or you had dance songs, you know what I'm saying? Like Laffy Tap, yeah. French Tap, Boy, that. You had dance songs, shout out to them too, they from the hood, love them though. So we created a party lane, like a feel good type music. Like up through there, it's feel good. Yeah. I'm a borrow, still shop, feel good. These feel good records. And these, we had about seven, eight songs in the club. In rotation. Punching. And then you had other artists coming out sounding like us. You see what I'm saying? So, I think we number one when it comes to switching that along the style and the mm -hmm. sound that's going on now. We created that. Okay, now when these niggas go back 13 years ago and hear they self musically now, I can. I can take you to 06 and let you hear, I get money, I get money. Hey, yeah, yeah. I can let you hear this. Exactly. exactly. These niggas now, they shit gonna sound like some more shit. It's gonna sound like. Jeezy or T.I. Exactly. or a dance song. Yeah. Guaranteed. And in the and one of these niggas. Yeah. 